I had a hell of a thrill, I'm reminiscing now, Christmas 1970. From 1965 right up to 1970 I'd gone around all the arcades, you know, in the summers and stuff, and I loved the machines. But to own one of your own. Of course, parents that got hold of this with the machines sort of getting rid of machines with decimalisation coming in in February 71. This were Christmas 70. And when I unwrapped it, wow! It was just unbelievable. My own slot machine. Never ever thought I would own one. Never ever. It's a penny duchess. They said that's the exact machine that was in Queen's Arcade. Yeah, I played on that on many occasions, simply cost a payout, paid a 12. And it's incredible, I couldn't believe it, to actually get this, to have my own penny machine. Oh, it's just incredible. Now, a lot of years later, this means nothing to me. It's only sentiment, sentimental sort of reasons I've kept it. I hate it now. You know, after all the machines I've got, this is now, shall we say, it was top of the list in 1970. But now it's the bottom of my list in the year 2022. I'm going to show you what's going to happen now. It has gone a little bit wrong since. I expect when I put this first penny in that the reels will all just suddenly stop. Knackered. Absolutely knackered. We do it again, but it does go right. I don't know why it's doing this at the start, to be honest. Oh. You can see that's not stopping right, can't you? You can see that. Third coin in it. It may right itself now. Oh no, it's still stopping wrong. No! Oh, for goodness sake. Fourth coin in, I think. It's now gone right. It's now actually gone right. Toppers. Right, shall we have a close-up play now? I played this because you could win 12. Lemon, that's no good. Need a cherry at the end for two. But I somehow like this. When I first moved here in 65, this is one of the first machines I played. Plum, I need Bell Bell. Oh, Plum Bell Bell would have paid 12, which was a hell of a lot of money. Bell, Plum, Pear. That's a Tupney win. There, Pear at the end, paying tuppence. Apple, apple, plum. Yeah, to have, can you see on the apple and apple, you should better see red lines. And it says at the bottom here, any three red lines, a winner. So the, the symbols all, all needed the red lines. There's no red lines on that, all that, all that. Apple, cherry, bell. That's a two again, all, all three were red lines. It pays out and stuff as it should. Bell. Orange. Lemon. So I am keeping it for sentimental value. Two. But it doesn't do anything for me now. You know, compared to other machines that I've got since. But what a joy this was back in 1970. What a thrill. What an absolute thrill. I can't explain it. To have your own machine. To own your own slot machine. That was in Queen's Arcade. In 1965 to 1970. Well. Yeah, it doesn't pay out out. That's why I never won on it. I don't think I ever got a 12 on it. All the times I played it. So really, this is sentimental. This is what we're talking here. Sentimental. I won't sell it. Bell! 
Oh, that's the nearest I've got. Plum Bell Bell would have paid 12. Apple. No. One more. I'd like to get a good winner though. We will have to cheat if we don't. We will have to make it pay. Bell! Oh, cherry at the end. That's a Tupney win. Pays out and everything as it should. No problem there. And it's working perfect now, despite going mad at the start. You know, when all the reels stop together. Last one. Hmm. So it's sentimental value. Right, I've some of the key, man. What I find strange about this is this restart button here. There's no hole in the front of the machine. I'm going to restart there. You see, and that got me a winner by restarting. Second again. Leave that because it's a plum. And we'll restart again. Oh, it's a bell now. Like I say, when I got this in 1970, all the locals were coming round to have a look. Can we have a look inside? Of course you can. Let's do another restart. Strange that though, but nice to see the insides. That's the inside of the Duchess. Right, you know what this is, don't you? Revenge. Pear. Bell. Bell. Twelve. If I just pull that down. There should be 12 coins in here. One on the floor, which I'll put up. If you count them, there's 12 for Pear Bell Bell. Now that's revenge, isn't it? Another revenge. How about an eightpenny win this time? So we want Bell Plum Bell. Bell Plum Bell. Now that should be eight coins. Which I'll tip onto the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Paid out as it should. We can just sort of summon the key, man. Nothing to see, though. That's the uh, bottom off. Yep. And inside, we have got... Not an original, but a wooden box. So it's all there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that refilm of the Duchess. To be honest, as a kid, I wrecked this. I don't know how it survived in one sense. The reels are all in bad condition. You know, I mean, look. They've really been... I mucked them about as a kid. I mean, look at that there. Terrible. They're in a hell of a mess, really. Look at the cherry there. I mean, I think that's been all stuck on or something. So I did wreck it as a kid. So I'm amazed it's even survived. Look at the bell there. Hell of a mess they are. But, you know, it is what it is. You do things year, years earlier that you maybe regret in later life. Right, shall we just have a close-up of it? It was a real thrill in 1970 to get this. I'll tell you that. Hmm. Nice machine. Well, did all you super sleuths out there spot it? I said the wrong year in the commentary. I said 2022, but of course, I meant 2022. Well, you knew that anyway, didn't you? Of course you did.